We're talking about podcast. We're talking about itty bitty podcast. Podcast. Merry mini Monday, chunkies. I'm Carter. Dosh. Jordan. Guys, we're back. We're we, back. And we're here. We have returned to summer. Mm, yes. It is, isn't it? Summer is here. And tomorrow we get to talk about. I mean, a classic. I think we're starting off really well. The Chunkies have done it again. They yes. have. We've got our top six. Uh, Disney Dozen was six as well. Yep. Um, and this is a good six. I'm excited. I'm excited for the it's next strong six. two months because yes. we've got some movies in between there that we kind sure of continues do. the theme of Summer of Love. Yeah. Uh, but tomorrow we do get to talk about Sleepless in Seattle. That's and true. And as I was watching this movie last night, I'm looking at Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks. Sure. And I'm saying, wow, 1990s. Yep. It felt so 90s, and I love, love the 90s. Probably my favorite decade. Okay. And there's others I'm going to be living in, right? Who knows yet? Yeah. But so far, 20, the 90s, 20s might be clutch. Could be the 20s, the, the new roaring, the roaring 20s. roaring 20s. But I decided to look up. I kind of went on a rabbit trail, and I was like, what actors defined their decade? Okay, and so I'm going to have some fun with this with you guys, too, yeah. to have you guess. Okay. They only give us one. It's either going to be an actor or an actress. Okay. okay. But we'll start with the 1900s. Who do you think <laughs> defined the 1900s? Cleopatra. Close. The at least, Like the queen of Egypt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's fair. That's yep. fair. Uh, could not tell you. Even George we- Cohen. Oh, of yeah. course. Yeah, George Cohen uh, was, he starred in seven Broadway shows during that decade. <laughs> cool. Yeah. He authored 12 during that decade, authored 12 Broadway shows. Wow. And he performed, so he either performed, produced, directed, starred in over 1,121 shows. Okay. Oh, my goodness. That's the 1900s. 1910s, anyone? No. Nope. Amelia Earhart. Like our oldest chunkies, those fans are like, Pickford, and you would be right. <laughs> it is Mary Pickford. Mary. She did. Thanks, thanks for she listening. did a lot Pickford of stuff. Nation. Okay, wait. Now we can get into stuff that you might be able to know. Nineteen twenties. Who do you think defined the twenties in movies? Is that too early for Chaplin? That's exactly who it is. Okay, Charlie Chaplin. Okay, nineteen twenties, nineteen thirties. When was Bogart around? She's an actress. An actress. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Right around when talkies became the norm. Joan sure. Crawford. Joan no, Crawford, no. 1930s, 1940s. Mm-hmm. He's referenced, there's an a impersonation of him in Sleepless in Seattle for the 1940s. There is? Cary Grant. Oh, yeah. 1950s? Think Western. John Wayne? John Wayne. Jan. Jan, Jan Wayne. Wayne. 1960s. Probably one of the coolest men that ever lived. Me? Jordan Wonders to find the 1960s. Oh, Dean. Uh, Not James Dean. Oh. Paul Newman. Oh. Uh, 1970s. Yeah. Similar. They were in a movie together. Robert Redford. I love Robert uh, Redford. With Cassidy. Now, I'm actually going to make you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we're getting a little closer to yeah, my took, It's funny how much it takes. Robert, my zone. Robert Redford. I like him. <clears throat> I love yes. Robert Redford. Have you ever seen the movie Sneakers? No, but have you seen The Sting? No. That's but have you seen Bush Cassidy movie. and the Sundance Kid? Yes. Both of these good boys we just They're talked about? They're both in The Sting as well. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Interesting. And it's Is there very a sequel? Good. No. Playing the same characters though, huh? Right. There, it's, it's actually before he was a big deal. It's a biopic about Sting. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> so who's the 1980s? Who do you think defined the 80s? I'm not giving any hints. Yeah. Can we, can we get, if it's, an, if it's a, a male or a female, so mm-hmm. that we narrow down? Mm-hmm. Male. Harrison Ford. Yes. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. I mean, yeah. if you're going to be Indiana Jones and Han Solo in the same... And Deckard. Yeah, in the same decade. Congrats, 1990s. It's neither of our sleepless stars. Is it Leo? No. That's a pretty good guess. Is it boy or girl? Boy. Are they all boys? No. Good. <laughs> I mean, we had Mary Pickford, Joan Crawford. Oh, yeah, There's duh. another girl coming. There is another girl coming up. 1990s. 
I would love to look up his credits. I bet he did in the 90s. I bet he did 40 movies. I don't want to say it like that frequent, like he's Adam Sandler or something. It's not Adam Sandler. Is it a comedian? No. Okay. Is it Will Smith? No, that's a good guess. That's okay. a good guess. I fold. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm out on this one. Tom Cruise. Oh, come oh, on. Uh, I should have known no. that. Oh, that's no. a good one. Yeah. 2000s. I, when I looked at it, I, I had a fraction of a second that I was like, really? But then I was like, no. Yeah. It's a guy. I got uh, a cologne that he advertises for. Is it Clooney? For Christmas. No, I wish. The cologne, I'll give you a hint, is called Sauvage. <laughs> Antonio Banderas. No, you might have seen this commercial. <laughs> it's, it's our guy who defined the 2000s. Like this cologne was like, we have to get him. And it's one of those, most fragrance commercials make zero sense. Sure. And he's just out, like he pulls up almost McGonaghy style, like just pulls up into this desert, takes out a shovel and starts digging. And there's like some kind of chest in there. And in the chest is Sauvage. Is it McConaughey? No, it's not. <laughs> that would have been Sauvage. the worst hint. This guy wears a lot of jewelry. And wears a lot of jewelry in maybe his most iconic role. Ice Cube. That was in the 2000s. Guys, Johnny Depp. Oh, I was about to say Johnny Depp, really? but then I was like, really? 2010s. Who is the most popular actress? Jennifer Lawrence. Yes. Yeah. Of this decade. Yeah. Jennifer Lawrence. We could have had Silver Linings Playbook in this. We were, we were so we were close. close. We that were was fun. Close. That really was fun to follow. <laughs> and it's not like the goofy movie for me, but Silver Linings Playbook is one of my favorite movies. I've never seen it. So I was oh really hoping to still watch it. That's why I was... Well, I hadn't seen Sleepless either. So this was... Either oh, way, I was fun. watching a movie for the first time. Yeah. But so that is... That's kind of our decade defining actors and actresses. People have different opinions on that, Yeah, obviously. I don't know that I agree with Dean Jordan are pretty bad at naming actors right. and actresses from decades. I feel it's, like we It's kind of an obscure list. Ones, there were some other lists too, but they, they got way too in-depth. And yeah. they were like, well, here's how they influenced cinema and that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> boring. Boring. You know what's not Boring. Tell me. Movies. That's we should true. do a podcast about them. Yeah, we should. Um, I want to bring on a regular bit. I say this a lot. This is my thing. I love it. Um, <laughs> but this one absolutely will be. We're kind of, it's a disservice if we're not giving a collective opinion on the movies that are in theaters right now. Yes. And this was especially stressed to me by just the summer being here. We are in summer. There's a lot of movies. It's movie in time. It's movie time. And so we're, we'll do, I'm going to name a movie. And this bit is called, we're going to say whether either it's worth watching or not going to see in theaters. That's simple enough. Just on our own opinions. Our, it's our own opinions. We're Based each going to give our own opinions. Or whether we've seen it or not, just yes. yeah, what our thoughts are. What I can say collectively <clears throat> in all three of our opinions is there is a show out there that when we ask what you're streaming, one of us either got into it or is getting back into it or just out of it. Yeah. We love Queer Eye. We do. Very much. So we love the Fab Five. JVN, mm. Jonathan Van Ness. Anthony Guy. He's got a little bit of influence on this. This bit will be called Yas or Pass. I love it. Yep. I love okay. it. Okay. Perfect. So Yas <laughs> means go to theaters. Do go it. see it yeah. in theaters. And again, we're not saying this does not mean necessarily buy it. Sure. Yeah. But this we is, are going to, because we don't get to review would something. Would I go? Yes. Or would right. I not go? Yeah. Yas or Pass. Yep. yep. And this could be from our experience of having been. And we have an opinion there. Or could be what we've interested. heard. Could be yeah. these kind of things. So this one's going to be a little bit longer today because we've got a little bit of catch up to do. Sure. Uh, but I'm not, I'm of course not going to hit everything. And Chunkies, if there's something that I didn't hit and you want our opinion on that, hit us up on Instagram. We'll tell you yes or pass. We sure will. Cool. Um, so we're not going to do the opening this week yet, but let's talk about some of the big ones that are in theaters. Um, Avengers Endgame is still in theaters. Big That's old, a big yes. Big, big yes. yes. I think it's a yes. collective yes. Uh, did anybody see Detective Pikachu of the three of us? No, Adam's raising Adam his hand. Adam is it a yes or pass? Adam says yes. yes. Adam says yes. yes. And so I, I, I would, I would go see it. That's yes. what critics are saying as well. So we're going to say a yes on Detective Pikachu. There's a movie, and this is a little more of an obscure one, but I've heard it's a big old yes. Is Booksmart? I've oh, also yeah. heard nothing yeah. but yes about. This I would one. do yes. So for it's going to be a sure. yes for that. Um, John Wick Chapter 3. That's a yes. yes. Another yes. Have either of y'all seen that? Not yet. Not yet. You know, I haven't even seen the second one. That's wild. You need to fix it's very that. good. Isn't it? It's it's best common. He. It seems like Keanu Reeves is in some of the most iconic choreographed 
yeah. fight scenes Dude, of all time. Dude, he does it all. He's the best. Yeah. He's amazing. Did, he's, did you see the, the King, King of the Punch Boys? Internet's, the internet's husband or the internet's boyfriend or whatever. <laughs> yes, I didn't look much interview. into that. He, somebody asked him, like, how do you feel about being dubbed the internet's boyfriend? And all he says is, the what now? <laughs> <laughs> what a perfect answer. I love him so much. He's got another Bill and Ted coming up soon. Yeah. That's <laughs> crazy. That's so crazy. Uh, so Rocket Man. I'm actually that's hearing a yes from me. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing yes. Like it's a really good biopic. Like yeah. this is what people had hoped Bohemian. A lot of critics had hoped Bohemian Rhapsody would be. Um, again, I mean, Remy won an Oscar, so yeah. like it well, ended up being good. They're cashing in on this, but I'm okay with it. Like I, I would go sit through two hours of just Elton John music. So why not do it and yeah. watch a movie while you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. exactly on a big screen with yeah. great. Great sound. Yeah. Um, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. That's gonna be a yes for me. While critics are saying pass. I kind of assume that for some of these big monster movies. Yeah, Gotta see big monsters. Yes. Sorry. But it's a yes for Watch me. Watch the big monsters on a big screen. It's a yes for me. And this one's from personal experience. I did see Aladdin. Okay. And this was something that I thought was not going to be good. Okay. I can personally say yes. Okay. I watched it and I enjoyed it. It's still a pass from me. That's okay. Yeah, it's a it's a pass and wait pass, for plus for me. Yeah, and pass is saying exactly. So, and we'll kind of define these as we go because there's probably going to be movies that kind of break the scale. But yeah. passing does not mean not ever see the movie. It means Just I am not, not going to theaters. Right. And that's that's the advice part of this. We're we're telling you whether or not we think you should go. Dark Phoenix pass. hard pass. Pass. Hard pass. pass. Very pass. They say that much pass. The X Men one before that, Days of Future Past. Oh, that's a few. Apocalypse few was right before it. Oh, it is. Okay, yeah. so they say Days of Future Past did so much to screw up the timeline that the end of Dark Phoenix makes no sense. That that's one of the things me. I read. Yeah, most, that's fair. That's totally which is fair. unfortunate because because uh, now in game has you can't say well I mean time travel's hard and they never really pull that off. Yeah, Sorry, because Marvel done did it. Yeah, Marvel done did it. Uh, Secret Life of Pets 2. Personally, That's a pass for me. Personally, it's a pass. The pass. Um, because we've got... There's just so many good animated movies now. It's just a... Don't waste just time an There was a season of, a of my story. life that I was so fascinated by it, I would want to go see everything. Yeah. Sure. But almost everything that was coming out was good. Yeah. Then we got Ants. I think that's one of the first it's ones tough. I remember being like, meh. It's okay. Madagascar for me, where I was just like, Same. oh, interesting. Oh, man. I kind of liked Madagascar. Um, so the dead don't die. This is the Adam Driver, Bill Murray. That's a yes from Jordan. I'm going to say yes because I want to see it. Critics are saying pass. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I'm going to give it a it's, pass. It's, I'll rent it for sure. Yeah, it's somewhere in the middle. It's kind of got a uh, barely barely pass by the, critics, a barely yes by... The, the cast alone is enough to make me really interested in it. Yeah. Shaft. I'm seeing billboards for it. This feels just like a money grab. It really does. It's a it's, pass for me. It's currently very rotten. It's a pass for it's me. Like it's 36%. Pass. It is very rotten. I'm going to pass, pass as well on Men in Black International. Pass also See, for I'm me. kind of feeling that that might be a yes for me. I think it's I think it's going to be the death of that franchise. Really? I agree. I think it's over. I think it's over. I haven't really watched much on it or read yeah. much on it, but it, it, I love the two leads. I, I love the lead, But they're the so thing, charming. Like, that's all I'm basing my answer on. I off. love Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard, but that doesn't mean Jurassic World was worth seeing. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, we'll get to that later. I've stumbled upon something. We're going to talk about that at the end. <laughs> what the heck? I stumbled upon a movie I had no idea existed, but we'll talk about that at the very end. We'll have that end our episode. Um, opening, uh, this week or actually coming up. No, we'll save that. If this is going to be regular, then we'll talk about some of that other stuff later. So that's a little bit of yes or pass. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I mean, yes. I mean, yes. I mean, yes. Uh, can I tell you about this movie? And Okay. It's called <laughs> Avengers of Justice. Wait, Fa what? Farce Wars. And it definitely looks like a... Oh, is this one of those like superhero movie? Like, uh, yeah. You remember what it's called? What, remember those? Like a... Uh, Epic movie? Yeah, that like stuff called? like that. Yeah. So it's superheroes are forced into hiding after their many battles with villains leave the city with billions of dollars in damage. Uh, we've got Gene Wonder, Dark Jokester... Uh, Thor Baca, Super Bat. <coughs> oh my gosh, Beaverine. What? Uh, it's like Wolverine. Oh, like Wolverine. In yeah, incredible. Just, just giant teeth. I bet. Tony Starch, <laughs> <laughs> Spider Cat, <laughs> <laughs> and Raya. Are we ready for the poster? Yep. No. Do you yep. want to see Very the much. poster yeah, that, that you're gonna buy? <laughs> Here is the poster for Avengers of Justice. 
Farce Wars. Oh, Doge man. looks like <laughs> we had a Spielberg face from Doge. <laughs> so pass. Yeah, big time. If you well, hold up. Junkies, if any of you can find a theater that this is in, please go see it and, and tell us show how it me is. a picture of the marquee. Please. Even so this is this looks like Ron Perlman up front. It totally looks like Ron Perlman. Is it? I, no, no. I think it's it, not. No. Everyone in Monster Prosthetics looks like Ron Perlman. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. There's truth. There. Are we sure that's not Ron I, Perlman? I just looked at the credits. <laughs> he would have been the top one, top build. Amy Smart is in it. Yeah, this is. She's Jean Wonder. <laughs> this is going to be tough. I think. I mean, I think, what do you think they expected? Isn't that a strange thing? Yeah, I don't know. Skim like, a couple what bucks if that's off your the top? only credit. Are they do trying to do this thing that they're doing like with Sharknado? Do you think they're, think trying, they're to trying to do that? I think they're trying to do that. I think it's either that or they're hoping somebody's grandma gets them a DVD of this <laughs> for Christmas. Like, I got you that Avenging movie you love so much. I mean, y'all would like that for Christmas. I don't know if I would. I, I, I would, would like, giggle. I would giggle. Would giggle. Would giggle. <laughs> you would giggle. I would put it in instantly. That's yeah. fine. Um, before we sign out, we live in a wonderful generation to where video games have been a part of our lives from the beginning. Yeah, we've got to. We, it's, uh, true. it's unique for us because this technology has advanced real fast. Big time. Like I, my first console was a Sega Genesis. Yeah, I was playing Sonic. Yep, and losing so many coins. Like it was glitching. I had so many <laughs> coins after I hit a spike. It's, I, this is also where my anger was born. <laughs> um, and then it ends up going. I think for me it was Sega N sixty four, one of the greatest consoles of all time. I got that for Christmas GameCube, when I was four. PlayStation three, Xbox three hundred and sixty, PlayStation four. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we get okay. to go through all these consoles. A big thing that happens is E3. The true. only reason I'm bringing it up on a movie podcast is it's because we like it. <laughs> one of my favorite movies of all time is Last of Us. Like, there's there's yeah. video games right. out there that are. It's funny. I wonder why it took them so long to say, like, "Hey, let's look at the anatomy of a good movie." Sure, and let's let people play it. Right. And then those are some of the most successful. I mean, your God yeah. of Wars and, and things like that well, are kind of... And I think the answer is less, let's look at a good movie and people love stories end. Yeah. yeah. How, do we tell them, how do we tell them in this new media? Right. Yeah. yeah, for sure. If you were to have a video game in honor of E3, E3 is a big conference where they announce new video. It's like the Comic-Con of video games. Mm. Yeah. Um, if if there was a video game that you could put into like your top ten favorite movies of all time, if if these were to intersect these genres, is there one? A is there one that would be up there? Sure. Yeah. B, what is it? Well, I feel like all three of our answers are going to be the Last of Us. Yeah, so can we take say, that out of contention for the yeah? Question? We'll take it out okay. for sure. because it's okay. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll take that out for sure. So we'll sign out with these. Okay. Okay. So I'm Carter, and Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, great answer. Fun, fun game. It had a little bit more depth and story than like Grand Theft Auto, which yeah. is the same maker. And it's kind of a place that I kind of wanted to live in, but didn't because right. it's so awful. But it was fun. I just loved the characters in that. Sure. I'm Doge, and I'm going to have to go with the newest Spider Man game from Ooh, Insomniac. Yeah. Nice. That one's wonderful. <laughs> it's not a perfect game, and it's not a perfect story. But it it felt like it was it almost un- is, uniquely though. made for me yeah. specifically. Yeah, in a similar vein, me Jordan here gonna say Arkham City, Batman Arkham City. It Ooh. feels like the movie. It feels like the Batman movie that we have been wanting forever. Yep, and have yet to ever receive. They do some good, like not your most famous villain character right. development in this, and, and the fact that it's all set over one night. And it's just this mad dash to keep the city safe and keep your identity secret and all this stuff. I mean, it's just, it's really, really good. I love great. it. What do, you think, what do you think the goal in Two Chunks the video game is? Is it kind of, uh, are we solving puzzles? Is it linky? Is it like... I think it's, I think it's a driving sim <laughs> <laughs> where you drive my bad car <laughs> through checkpoints and collect podcast reviews. <laughs> and then when you get to the finish line, you screech over the edge and a face just leans down in the screen and goes, it didn't matter though. <laughs> and then it's done. <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to go buy a copy right now. 